Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Monty Python's Flying Circus, the video game, on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum, released by Virgin in 1990. I believe it was released on all the usual suspects, and I think it got pretty good reviews. I don't know how I'd describe it. You play Mr. D.P. Gumby. It's like the Terry Gilliam parts of the, uh, the Monty Python episodes, uh, and it's kind of like a cartoon shooter where you have to collect the four missing pieces of your brain. What's interesting though is you have to play something called Cheese Shop when you load the game uh, to get into it where it depicts a number of blocks of cheese with no names and then using a piece of, uh, oh sorry, instructions that came in the case you would have to identify the cheeses that it would ask you for not really as a game, I mean the game thought it was a lot funnier than it was uh, so basically you could obviously it was, you know, to circumvent copyright or stop people circumventing copyright, I would say, you know, like Jet Set Willie and stuff like that. But then having said that, even back then, just, just for a copy, or just draw decent renditions of the cheese yourself and write underneath it, you know, Wensleydale, Cheddar, stuff like that. Now, um, this is 1 to 8K. It's 1 to 8K only. If you wait around long enough, it does actually play a pretty decent rendition of the theme tune. I'm really not sure why it's not playing it, so bollocks, let's just get into it, because it's quite hard. Um, you can, it's monochromic. Looks alright. Health bottom left. Number next to it is life. So that's my brain behind me. I mean, why or how would you even go about making... Oh, I can fire stuff. A game based on Monty Python. I mean, back then they'd license, they would license anything to... These blocks are interesting. Are they supposed to twat my brain? I don't know. They take my health. But yeah, why would you think you could balls make a game of this? Now, look up the map. Look up the cheese uh, screen as well. But look up the map and you'll see this... I don't know, I wouldn't know I'd say it was that big a game. It was, well, it was expensive on disc, it was 15 quid back then, but yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Because it's, cause it's side-splittingly funny. And I don't mean that in a horrible way, because I fucking love Monty Python, but... I'm a fish. Now, I float up all the time. I can shoot them. I can shoot these blocks. I don't know if that does anything. I'm looking at my health when I do it to see if it does anything. Oh, look, it says spam up the top. Is that what it is? Is it spam? Does that... No. Yeah, yeah there it is. That's health. Oh, fuck. So that's how you get your health. You wait for a block of spam. I love spam, by the way. Wait for a block of spam to appear. I don't appear to have time. It's really, really linear, but, you know, where you go. It's basically right to left. Your head falls off when you die, then it grows back. Again, I love Monty Python. This is just... I don't know what that did. Why is there... It's 1 to 8K, because like I said, there's a decent, albeit very short version of the theme tune. Why is it not in the game? And how do I get the spam? Do I have to shoot all the blocks? Come on. No, apparently not. And you go up, you don't go... Oh, you... See? What's the deal with the spam? Apart from the fact that it's tasty and delicious. Try hot and spicy spam, by the way. It's amazing. In fact, try spam fritters. I'm just legging it now. I mean, for, it's to shoot them up. And it's hard. It's what it is. Oh, dang. I mean, like, how are you supposed to go down without getting... shot to fuck? Is that something in there I want? I don't know. Hey! I don't know what that did, but please give me health. Yes, it gave me health. I don't know. I mean, if you had this game, or whatever variant version you had of it, let me know what you think. I just think it's, a, it's an odd thing to attempt. Down or up? Oh, okay. You gonna... You gonna give me the music? By the way, um, it does give you standard keys, then. Q up, A down, O left, and P right. Come on, give me the music. Show me the money. Show me the money. That's really, really annoying that it doesn't do that. Poor, in fact, I would say. I'm just hitting random keys to see if I could... There you go! Come on, that's cool. To anyone else who never had a Spectrum... Actually, that's quite weak for 128K, but anyone else who never had a Spectrum... 
That was good music back in the day. Right. One more go. Right. New game plan. Leg it. I mean, am I supposed to do something with my brain? Oh no, my brain. Oh, that's your Adam and Joe quote there, by the way. Just thought I'd let you know. You're welcome. Is that something there? No. Right. Screw spam and shit like that. Did I lose my health already? Does it go down? That's a bit... That's just not cricket. Right. These things are bastards. They're the worst ones. They take multiple shots and they just sit there and dump a shitload of bullets out in one go. I mean, also, I mean, why make this game? But also, why are you making it so hard? Unless you could argue it's not a kid's game because the subject material is not kids. Well, it's hardly by today's standards incredibly rude, but you know what I mean. See, how am I supposed to avoid that? And it's a bloody maze game. No, I can avoid that one. No, and that one. And that one. I'm stuck. See, that's a bit crap. No, oh, give me one more life. There we go. Am I in a new stage? What? It's a boss. It's just a shooter. Having his health on screen would be nice. Oh, I'm about to die. Oh. Is that it? I don't know where to go. Everybody's dead, Dave. What, everybody? Everybody. There we go. No health. Ooh. This is fucked up. Ooh! Can I not even shoot those? Leg it. See? If in doubt, leg it out. Even if you are just a fish. Seems to work. Balls. Well, there you go. Monty Python's Flying Circus on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. I'm not going to lie. It's a bit pants. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.